The new Star Citizen Alpha 3.18.2 PTU patch just dropped uh, just a few minutes ago and I wanted to go through some of the patch notes. Uh, this way we can get out there and start testing. The sooner we do, the sooner we get this patch into live. Um, first, we're going to cover the known issues. The first one is Dumper's Depot has nothing for sale. That's currently a known issue. Selling multiples of some items can fail with error invalid mineable entry. Game client may close without error or crash handler. ASAP terminals are unusable and fade to black when accessed. That's still a known issue. Harvestable deposits may be invisible to players, causing collisions or become unavailable for scanning or mining or salvage gameplay. The tramps are out of sync with the station timer, causing tramps to overlap or not appear on time. Elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player character. When players are near another ship, ship seems to hit an invisible box and kick in, in random direction. So these, some of these are the same ones that are known in the 3.18.1 patch, which are which is currently live right now. So it seems like there's still uh, an issue right now with this current uh, point two patch. Um, some of them that I haven't noticed is the cargo may be invisible in multiple ships after being purchased, unable to view ships inventory through knickknacks. Another one here that we haven't seen yet is the NPC coffee. Vendor is missing from various coffee to go stall locations throughout Stanton. So those are the known issues. Before we get into the bug fixes, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of April. This time it's going to be uh, LTI Great Cat STV. All you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of April to participate. So now let's move into the bug fixes. They fix an issue causing players to take damage when using certain ship seats. Players in a given instance may experience a response latency of up to dozens of seconds for interaction when it comes to bounty missions streaming accompanying ai in and out again after the main target has been neutralized makes them idle this i have noticed that so i'm glad that they fixed that um ship traveling along the highways in area 18 point upwards um as they move that's been fixed when it comes to um salvage spawn rates for salvage entities is substantially higher than the intended should hopefully no longer see areas with many duplicate salvage ships in a cluster so that's been fixed when it comes to technical they have two server crashes and one server deadlock fixed all right you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video